What is up YouTube and welcome to this Gotham video. So if you are new to the channel, please do consider leaving a like and a subscribe down below if you did enjoy the video. So Gotham was very, very good this week. It was, of course, the finale of season four, which is now the penultimate season as next season will be the final season that we actually get of the show, which is... A real, real shame in my opinion because I think that the show had some issues this season but by and large they, they worked themselves out. I mean, the story pods that we got this season worked out very well. We had the Falcons, we had a, everything that happened with Jerome, Jeremiah. Jeremiah I wasn't too much of a fan of but... It worked out well in the end. We even had a full Ra's al Ghul storyline, which, in my opinion, the ending of this really was a bit of a fail with the fact that Ra's al Ghul was so easily dispatched by Barbara and the rest of the group, which, again, I think may have been a bit of a misdirect as he did this simply to set up his heir, which is, of course, Bruce Wayne, as he, he's been predicted to become the Batman. Now, Rachel Ghoul this season was curious. Last season, we did have Rachel Ghoul, the Lazarus Pit, and everything. But I feel like he's been playing a very much of a background part. And it's really weird that he wasn't involved that much at all in this season. He was, from the early part, he was dispatched again as requested by Bruce Wayne. But later on, his role with Barbara just fell flat and sadly by and large the storyline with Rachel Gaul was a bit of a misfire in my opinion. It was a shame I was predicting that we will have Bruce this season at the end of this season he will agree to go off to the Rachel Gaul land as I'm going to call it now and the, this would be in res, in kind of return for Gotham being saved, which again, yeah, it's it's really weird here. But we're adapting the No Man's storyline here, the No Man's Land storyline, which was where Gotham was separated from the rest of the United States, and it be became and descended into a lawless wasteland. And the entirety of this finale has pretty much been a setup for next season. That that is it. It it was just a setup. It feels like next season is going to be the important one. Of course, this is going to be the rise of Batman. But No Man's Land did have Gotham taken over by large factions. So we've got major, major factions here at the moment. Of course, we've got the Sirens, who have now denounced that men are the problem and they want to kill every single man. So Bruce Wayne, you're not going to be safe there. We've now got Penguin as well, who killed Butch. Tabby, of course, killed his Penguin's mother. So he played an incredibly long play there to get his own back just to cure Br um, Butch and then kill him. Very, very big, big stuff there. And Penguin, again, looked like the menacing individual he was. He was very much on the back foot this season. But in this episode, he proved himself as the big player and the huge player that he will in turn come to be when he becomes the major villain of the Batman, only fully becomes into the Penguin, which I'm hoping we'll see some major transformations next season for these characters into being the huge villains that they actually are. Now, while the No Man's Land storyline is being adapted, with this, we did have the early part of Bruce Wayne, Batman's career, in the very, very early years of his career, there was the Zero Year storyline, which was where Edward Nigma took over the city and he was making a kind of, he had a riddle and many people went to go and answer this riddle to try and save and stop the lawless land that was the Zero Year. So I'm thinking that Ed will to actually survive his injuries and Hugo Strange has the bodies of these two, of Lee and the Riddler as well. So I think that maybe they may adapt this, maybe merge No Man's Land to Zero Year, where Ed will come back and start with all these riddles and have a huge riddle to try and save people and things like that. That'd be really, really cool. But it's a long shot to say the least. 
Next season, like I said, we will have No Man's Land. And all these factions are set out. The Penguin will probably have his own faction as well. And Jeremiah played an interesting part. He was just used as a pawn by Raish al Ghul. And I think that Jeremiah has been a bit of a flop as well, in my opinion, along with Raish al Ghul. But like I said, this episode was purely set up for next season to cause the chaos that was to come. And we saw the bat signal appear as well, which was huge. We, we, we did see that, and it is the proto bat signal. It did get... Bruce Wayne to appear. Lucius Fox is also stayed behind with Harvey Bullock. Lucius Fox, I assume, has stayed behind, will start to make a better suit for Bruce Wayne, and we'll see a, a full version of Batman by the end of the season, if not even by the midway of the midway season of him trying to fix everything that's going on in Gotham. Now, of course, this is the last season, or next season is the last season, so we will see the full. Batman thing going on so definitely that will happen and the city will try to be saved and we've got major major characters as well coming in so we've got Man Bat we saw at the end Hugo Strange has returned I'm so glad BD Wong is fantastic and he was great in Mr. Robot if you haven't seen Mr. Robot go and watch it it's one of the best shows ever written we have also got Mother and Orphan Orphan being Cassandra Kane. So that's quite big there, a character who actually turned was a version of Batgirl and the daughter of Lady Shiva. And Lady Shiva is coming to the show. So a, a kind of antagonist to Richard Dragon is coming. And, well, that's quite big because Richard Dragon is a villain next season. Or kind of he's carrying on over on Arrow into the seven, season 7 of Arrow. This is Gotham's last season. We will see a merge. Will the CW be like, right, we're going to buy the Batman license. and we Because Batwoman is coming to Arrow as well next season. She is the focal point of the next Arrowverse crossover. So the fact that they've got a Batgirl, Batwoman on Arrow, and we've got Cassandra Kane, the daughter of Lady Shiva, and Lady Shiva is going to be on the show. Well, what the hell is even going on? So we've also got the ventriloquist with Scarface as well. So some real deep cuts there in the Batman mythology, but Cassandra Kane, a big one there next season. I expect all of these characters will be involved with this No Man Land storyline, and it will be the battle for Gotham. But that is it. I loved this season, absolutely loved it. I'm really excited to see where this goes, but next season I expect will just be an entire battle for most of the season, unless they pull a bait and switch and just change it up. But that is it for this video. Please drop a like, please do subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.